Okay, so it's come to that time of year when you've been thinking about buying a new bike for quite a while, and uh, it's decision time. You know, where do you go? Uh, what what brand do you go for? Um, what are you going to use your bike for? It's all getting quite confusing. You've got marketing everywhere. Your friends are telling you what to buy. Your friends on the club have got certain brands, certain bikes they're recommending. Um, so. What we want to do today is help you with a bit of a buying process of how you should buy your next bike. Okay, there's various aspects we need to look at. It's it's not just as easy as going on the internet and looking at colours and, and sizes and, and price points. There's some more important factors that we need to consider. Ollie, my business partner here, he's an expressional cyclist, and he'll be able to talk you through some of the things he's experienced when he was riding as a as a sponsored cyclist. So like Andy said, I was lucky to ride professionally 16 years and during that time uh, rode some fantastic bikes, some less fantastic bikes, a real mix of components. Um, and when we were looking at bikes, we're always looking at the newest, best thing. Um, and, and it probably would be the best and fastest bike, but ultimately there's some more important factors. The most important thing we say to customers at BW is, most important thing is, does it work and does it fit? So obviously it's got to work, and we see bikes are getting so technical now. We've got hydraulic brakes, we've got electric gears, we've got tubeless tires, we've got car wheels. And that's just on a road bike, never mind a full suspension mountain bike where we've got suspension. So it's really getting around that, and what's the best bike for the job? And ultimately, it's got to mechanically, it's got to work and do the job. Next thing, it's got to fit. These are the two most important things. It's got to work and it's got to fit. If I'm going to do a 20 mile bike ride, Oh, the most important thing, saddle height, reach. If I'm 10 mil too high in the saddle, 10 mil too long in the stem, and we're talking maybe even five mil, that's gonna cause an issue personally with my back and all my knees as well. So it's that the fit is so essential, and this is obviously more important on a road bike because it's very static, but on a mountain bike, equally important for the handling as well. So like Sandy said, we're gonna just talk through the key points which you should look for when buying your new bike. I think some of the other factors as well um, that we need to look at is, is the backup of the bike. You know, where will you get the best backup? It's not just about buying this new machine. How will you service it? If there's a problem, will you be able to go back to somebody? And that's why we'd always advise going to that, that local bike shop or somewhere that has a good reputable rep reputation where the staff are experienced, they've got a lot of knowledge, and they can really talk you through what will happen with the ownership of the bike and how you take responsibility and how they will help you with that. Um, we'll also talk about other sort of services that you might want to have on offer with your bike shop. It's not just about buying the bike, what happens afterwards? You know, will you be able to go back to them, get some advice on what you should be doing? They might even be able to help you with goals in terms of training or events that you might be able to do, clubs that you might be able to join. Um, so these are all important things that have helped us when we were cycling, when we were going through the ages. Um, um, we like to give back to other people, is help them to experience their cycling, make it better for them, make them enjoy it more, go out there, have a good time, get fitter. Let's buy your bike. So you've got to the bit of getting onto a bike and we want to make sure the bike fits you absolutely properly for what you want to do. So really, when you're picking that bike, you should be talking to somebody with experience about what your injury history is. Um, for Ollie as an ex-pro, there'll be plenty of injuries. Um, and also what you do for, for a job, you sat at a desk all day, that's going to adjust things like your posture and your flexibility. So that's very important. Then you want to get into all the touch points of the bike. So things like the handlebars, the, the reach that Ollie talked about, you know, the, the distance from the, from the bike with the stem, you might have to make adjustments, um, the seat, the cranks. These are all quite expensive changes. If you go and buy a bike and you don't get that fit in when you're purchasing your bike, this could cost you a lot of money later. So for example, some bikes, uh, you could be into a, you know, 500 pound change just to adjust your, your, your handlebars by a couple of centimeters. It's worth doing it, but it's gonna cost you a lot of money. Um, at a bike shop like this at BW, we fit every single bike as, as a new bike, has to be fitted before it leaves the shop. If we feel that any of those touch points, your stems, your bars, even your crank length is wrong, we will make sure we change it. It has to be right before it leaves, leaves a shop. We want to make sure you get the best experience possible and the best use out of your new machine. So in choosing your new bike, really important, kind of obviously, that the bike is technically working well. So Andy's done the fitting earlier, um, but we're talking about the second bits where we're talking about the changes and adjustments in parts. So you want your new bike to be set up for you, the changes are all in place, technically working well, even things like small details like the cables at the right length. So if we've shortened a stem on a bike, you want the cables to be in line. It's really important on mountain bikes, but road bikes as well. The complicated bikes are getting so technical now, 
A lot of the cables are running through the handlebars, the stems, the frames. Um, so it's harder to work with, and that's where an independent bike shop or a local shop or even a sales center that's on site that can make those changes and get everything tip top when the bike goes out the door. Um, it'd be good as well, all the bikes get test ridden here at BW, and that's something you should be looking for. You want bikes to be perfectly built, but also as well, you want someone who experienced to go in for a little ride on it, make sure everything is sounding and working exactly how you would like it. It's also good as well to get that little short-term backup. It's quite often bikes need little tweaks and changes, um, so for example, a bedding in service or a six week service that a lot of bike shops run um, is worth its weight in gold just so you can go back without the hassle and awkwardness and just get those little tweaks and changes done. Um, quite often we will sell a bike. We might have a little bit extra on the fork steerer here. These spaces need to be adjusting, the cables need to be shortened. And that's the sort of thing that can be done at a six week bedding in service as well. So with your new bike, well, it's really important to look at the backup going forward. Um, it's a very technical product now and the bikes are getting, like I said, even more technical all the time. So looking at the warranty and the backup of the bike uh, is really important. If we look at this Merida bike here, this has a lifetime warranty on a frame. Um, the Shimano parts on these ones have two year warranty. So if there is unfortunately an issue in the future, it's really important that you've got that backup, someone that will deal with the issue uh, quickly and efficiently um, and make sure that you can get back on the road as quickly as possible. It's also really important as well to have the backup of a shop to deal with spare parts. For example, rear mech hangers, the bearings. There is hundreds of variants and options and it's really important to be able to have stock of those and get things quickly. So the key is we want to keep you riding um, and on your bike and not have your uh, pride and joy stuck in the workshop. So hopefully we're giving you lots of things to think about when it comes to buying your new bike. Um, some of the experiences that we have at BW of doing that. We've talked about all the fitting services, um, the backup plans, your workshop, how you should pick the right bike that's for you. Um, but also, yes, look at some of the other aspects of buying a bike. It's not just about the product that you're buying into. It's about a lifestyle. It's about meeting people. It's about um, going out on the right rides. At BW Cycling, for example, we have a map where you can look at the right rides. We can help you with physio for rehabilitation. We can help you with the right training. Um, in the gym. We can also help you with things like getting a travel box, where to go abroad, cycling destinations. All of this is powerful knowledge that you need to help you and make sure that you've got the right bike for you and you're going to go and ride it in the right places and enjoy it to the full.